Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Crisis in status as William Ruto has come out to confirm that Musaliam Davadi is legitimately responsible to represent him when it comes to the diplomatic issues outside the country. This is because this morning, according to the director, director of communication from the office of Musaliam Davadi, came out saying that Prime Cabinet Secretary, His Excellency Musaliam Davadi, this morning departed to Angola for a two-day official visit. He will be representing His Excellency William Samuel Ruto at a high-level summit on DRC Peace Initiative. That is why I have prepared this video to look at several issues why Rigadi Gashagwa is being sidelined and William Ruto prefers Musalia Bedavadi. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a fundraising to support Nudin Salash, who is going to take a kidney transplant from Medhill Hospital, Parklands, Nairobi County. I'm requesting with a humble heart, after reaching out this channel, he is requesting for your support. And of course, he is among the supporters of this channel. So if you are willing to support Nurdin Salaj to go and take kidney transplant, you can contribute what you have in the number that I'm displaying below the screen. I will appreciate so much. Now, why is it that crisis is in status? Number one, Musali Amdavadi is now being preferred as someone that legitimately have the qualities to represent William Ruto when it comes to the diplomatic issues outside the country. Leave alone even the cabinet minister of foreign affairs. They are preferring Musali Amdavadi to be a person who portrays a high level profile of legitimate and competence to hold and represent William Ruto when it comes to various meetings, summits, leadership forums, when it comes to inauguration of other presidents across the world. Have you ever asked yourself, when you look at the hierarchy, we have the president, we have the deputy president. As we speak now, when William Ruto is busy nurturing and also trusting Musali Amadavadi, Rigali Gashagwa has been left doing local, shameful, and shady politics. This, show, this is something that show, uh, is going to show us that Rigali Gashagwa is just not embarrassment, but again, shame to this government. The other week, <coughs> Musali Amadavadi was in Burundi to represent the same same summit leadership kind of summit where Uru Bege Kenyatta was also present. Then the other day, Musali Amadavadi was sent in Nigeria during the inauguration of new president, 16th president of Nigeria. I remember there was several conversations across the social media. Why was Rigadi Gashagwa not being sent towards these main meetings? Because he is the trustee of William Samoe Ruto, the president and the deputy president. Some people came out saying that William Ruto was to visit another country outside the country. That is the reason why he sent Musali Mdavadi as Rigad Gashagwa will be securing and also uh, taking over the country.
But I saw William Ruto never went somewhere. William Ruto was there. In fact, they attended several meetings with you regarding Ashawa. So I want to ask a simple question. Is there any kind of scenario where William Ruto has come out to give Musalia Madavadi a, a way forward to be so much trusted in his profile of co competency where regarding Ashawa is being profiled as someone that is so incompetent and shameful when it comes to his talks, he might come out embarrassing Kenya outside the country. But it, it is good to see that um, Salim Nevada is finally doing something productive instead of just staring around, tweeting these terms all the day. Maybe he'll actually accomplish something in Angola, which we don't know. But Gachagwa amesema yeye wacha kai tu huku akipiga akipiga na pombe Ramu. That is what we regard Gachagwa is doing. <laughs> what regard Gachagwa remains with ni kupigana pombe aramu Mount Kenya region and to play very shameful kind of shady politics. Let me say local politics. So we are bringing a lot of confusion to other countries. That is something that you must understand. <laughs> we are bringing a lot of confusion to other countries. Non -exist existing and unrecognized titles. Let's change the constitution and call Musalam Dava the Prime Minister. Period. That is it. Some countries believe <coughs> that we are having a president, then Prime Minister. We don't have deputy president, we don't have vice president. So as a fake Mau Mau son, kazi yake ni kumbabana wale, anaona watakuwa threat kwa ke pamoja. Na umwami, Musalia Mudavadi, if we kapo 2027, Musalia Mudavadi is being endorsed as someone that is so competent and his profile has good reputations. But whatever game are being played here will be booming big time. You just ask Uhuru Kenyatta. You will see with your two eyes. You will see with your two eyes. Because according to me, let me say, according to me, at least even if Musalia Mudavidi's position is not recognized in the constitution. He's a man with at least portfolio than Rigadi Gashagwa. Now, it seems like he's now having a portfolio than Rigadi Gashagwa. The position of Musalia Mudavidi does not exist in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Even does not have any portfolio. But now it seems like Umwami Musalia Mudavidi is having a portfolio in this government. As that one who has a recognized portfolio in the constitution, regarding Gashagwa, is just meandering and loitering across the Republic of Kenya, creating mayhem, a kind of shame politics, rebranding himself as the only deputy president for Mount Kenya region, that is whatever Rigati Gashagwa is doing. So Rigati Gashagwa is a man that now has come out of a brand himself that is overworking in coffee and tea sector. Not those issues that now Musalia Mudavadi is representing William Ruto. That is it. So, regarding the Shago will just remain in his office, going through his files, 
but he will not step out the country. Why? Because William Ruto does not trust Rogadi Gashagwa. I want to repeat. William Ruto, despite of having Rigadi Gashagwa as his deputy, he does not trust Rigadi Gashagwa. That is whatever is happening with Rigadi Gashagwa and William Ruto. So as Mudabadi is having privileges, Rigadi Gashagwa is busy filing a file to destroy Jubilee, be a kingpin of Mount Kenya region, fight illicit brew, and to be a man of a working at Kofi and Secretary. What happens? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye bye till you meet on another video.